Welcome back. Well, House Democrats huddling with party leadership last night to discuss the next steps after the release of the Mueller report. But as some have pushed for impeachment, leaders are downplaying those calls. Speaker Nancy Pelosi reportedly saying this isn't about Democrats or Republicans. It's about saving our democracy. If it is what we need to do to honor our responsibility to the Constitution, if that's the place the facts take us, that's the place we have to go. Democrat Congressman Ro Kahana was on that call. He joins us now. Congressman, thank you very much for being here this morning. Uh, you were on the call. Take us inside this conference call. Well, it was a good call. Speaker Pelosi set the tone. She said we need to be deliberate and methodical. There shouldn't be any rush to any judgment. One of the things I think we can all agree about is the Mueller's uh, report's conclusion that there was sweeping and systematic interference in our election by the Russians. I'm working actually with Leader McCarthy and others uh, to find some ways of protecting American democracy from future interference. And that's a place I think uh, many Americans would agree. Sure, but Congressman, that interference happened during the Obama administration. Well, the uh, interference, the pre President Obama was the president then, and I don't think it should be partisan. The point is the Russians hacked into not just the Clinton campaign, they hacked into former secretaries of state. Yeah. The, the president unwittingly, not intentionally, but like others, was retweeting Russian agents. I mean, this should be appalling. Every American should be concerned. If Russia did it last election, who's to say China or Iran wouldn't do it? Uh, I represent Silicon Valley. We need to make sure the tech platforms are working with law enforcement so that this never happens again. Mm -hmm. And I think that's a common sense area where we can all work together. Representative, based on what you heard on that call and what you're hearing on the campaign trail from 2020 contenders, should the Democratic Party or should the House pursue impeachment? Not right now. I think what we need to do is have Bob Mueller testify. We need to have the committees do their work. We just got the report a few uh, days ago or a week ago, uh, and the committees should do their work. I also think the American people want us to work on issues such as infrastructure and health care and child care, making sure that we're not losing the race to China on technology, on artificial intelligence. Uh, China has built 1,800 universities in the last 15 years, we need to be investing in our country. I think that's really where people want us focused. I, I think you're right about that. But don't, mm -hmm. politically, uh, it, you know, it could pass, articles of impeachment could pass the House, but because it's a Republican led Senate, you're not going to wind up with two thirds. So, you know, if you voted in the House for, to go forward with the impeachment, that's just a loser for you going into 2020. I mean, isn't that the political reality of it? Well, I think there, that's Pelosi uh, and others realize that the Senate is unlikely to uh, uh, convict the president, and that's why uh, they are uh, want to move with deliberate uh, speed and not uh, rush into anything. That said, it's important to hold uh, the president accountable for what happened and to make sure the committees do their work, uh, and uh, that's what uh, the Pelosi has outlined. We shall see. Representative Rokana, thank you very much for being here.